State Senator Jonathan Dismang is no stranger to the program. He'll have his hands full this session with the private option, health care reform, tax cuts, and wrangling a few Republicans and Democrats this session. Welcome back to the program, Senator. Good appreciate to have it. you with us. Yeah, appreciate that. All right. So the governor gives his vision for health care for the future in the state of Arkansas. I have a feeling you had a little bit of a hand in the pot of helping him craft that, but what was your reaction to his speech? Well, I mean, I think, number one, it was a very thoughtful speech, and he delivered it, you know, extremely well. And also, you know, one of the things he did was really take into account both sides of the, you know, the argument or the discussion. Uh, he outlined his plan, and, and we're in the process right now of developing it legislation. I think it actually uh, was filed uh, yesterday, and we, we plan to run that on Monday afternoon and get the ball started. So does the governor have things to trade with, though? You know the art of political negotiation is to say, uh, I can come off of this position a little bit. I can maybe do something that I wasn't intending to do. What are some of the tools that he may have in terms of making deals with legislators? I, I think probably the biggest deal that he has is a blank slate. I mean, in his speech, he said he wanted to start over, you know, kind of turn the page. And I, and I think in doing that, you open the door for not just, you know, alter, alterations to the private option, but Medicaid as a whole. Probably one of the most telling things in his speech, I think, when you looked at was the total Medicaid spend in the state. You know, just a small sliver of our pie of Medicaid spend is actually a result of the private option. But in fact, we've got $5 billion, uh, you know, out there that is outside of the private option. And, and we're going to be taking a look at that at his direction and, uh, and look forward to really, you know, revamping that program, making sure that we have the outcomes that we want for the dollars that we're spending. Do you have the votes in the Senate to get this passed? I, I believe that we do. You know, we're still kind of weighing that. We're watching social media and, uh, you know, some of the other reaction or if just not, you know, one-on-one -on -one discussions with members. Uh, but I believe at this point, you know, for the bill itself, uh, that will set up the task force that he specified. I believe the votes are there for that, and I also think that uh, we're close, if not beyond where we need to be for the appropriation. What about in the House? Do you think that's where the fight will be? Well, I mean, I, I, you know, I don't ever want to get in the House's business. Uh, Speaker <laughs> Gillum will, will have his hands full. We've got 100 members over there, and they all have uh, opinions, as they should, on how things should move forward. Uh, but, but again, I, I mean, I think on our end, uh, I feel comfortable with where we are. You've got, uh, you are running the governor's tax cut plan. It yes, sailed through the Senate Revenue and Tax with an amendment put on it. It uh, right. sailed on the floor of the Senate uh, this past week. It now heads to the House. Um, do you anticipate any hurdles with that? Is it going to change from where it's at now? Well, I, I mean, I think one change will be adding co-sponsors. And, and beyond that, I'm not sure if the, that if the House want to make some amendments or changes. Uh, I think that, you know, in my opinion, it should, you know, stay in the form that we, we send it over. But again, they'll have the right to take a look at it. Uh, my understanding, they'll take it up on Tuesday, mm -hmm. uh, if not on Thursday, just kind of depending on where we are with the budget. Uh, ACE is going to release his budget on Tuesday, and I know some members were waiting to see that. Uh, but, but again, I think that it will have uh, the same type of support that we expressed in the Senate. Another controversy up at the state capitol this week was over the Martin Luther King Day holiday, the Robert E. Lee holiday. Right. Uh, two bills filed to really repeal the Robert E. Lee mm -hmm. um, holiday, or at least move it, the date on it. Uh, do you support changing or separating those two days or abolishing the Robert E. Lee? Birthday? Well, I mean, I, I think for me personally, we'll let the House, that's where that discussion is taking place. Those members are very active in that, and, uh, and, and really I haven't had time to focus on it at this point and, and probably will not make it a priority. All right, but you'll come up with an opinion at some right, point yeah, in time. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to vote at some point. All in the right, future, all right, we'll nail you down when that time <laughs> comes. All right, lots of questions in the Senate, too, about, and some pressure, I would say, to live stream the Senate to right. make it more accessible to the general public. When's that going to happen? When are you guys going to come into the 21st century? Well, I mean, uh, you know, actually we're, we're in the process of looking at that right now. Uh, we, we've got most everything set in place and we ac actually hope to start uh, live streaming our audio uh, next week at some point. We have, uh, we're, we're working with the, the uh, provider mm -hmm. right now and there's been some delays that we didn't really anticipate. We'd hope to kick it off a little bit sooner. But we will be live streaming the Senate uh, here, hopefully within the, the next week. Afternoon sessions, the committee mm -hmm. meetings, or both? Just on the on the floor of the Senate. At so this point. a baby step a, in a the live stream world. Right. There. All right. He's Senator Jonathan Dismang. Thank you so much for being right. with us, Thank Senate you. President. We'll be have you back. So pretty soon. Yes, sir. All right. After this break, our political roundtable picks up where we left off with the private option health care debate. Representative Laurie Rushing, chair of the Freshman Caucus of 40 new House members plus Qual Choice CEO Mike Stock and Arkansas Hospital Association CEO Bo Ryle.